Hi, Bob Hegg here. Today I'd like to show you how to get uh, two extra aux outputs and two extra microphone inputs with your UI16 or UI12. Let's get started. Now, getting the two extra aux outputs is relatively easy. It's built right into the UI. You go to settings, you go to global. The very first thing on the list is headphones and make sure that is set for aux. So if it's not set for aux, you want to set that for aux. Then, having done that, when you go back to uh, the mixer, when you check your aux sends, you will find that you now have aux 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. You now have 6 aux sends. That's 2 extra. Um, aux 5 and 6, groovy. Now you're going to need to purchase a special cable to hook this up and you can get that just about anywhere. It is a quarter inch uh, TRS male to a dual XLR male. TRS stands for tip ring sleeve. The tip is aux five, the ring is uh, aux six or vice versa. And, eh, you can figure it out. Now you can plug this thing into either of the headphone uh, outputs, it doesn't matter. And the XLRs, one of them is aux five, one of them is aux six. And there you have it. You now got six aux ends. Uh, with your UI16. Now getting the two extra microphone uh, channels is a little bit more involved. We are going to be using the uh, the line inputs, the left and right line inputs on the UI uh, to accomplish this. And the problem is that these things are line level, uh, not designed for microphones. If you look at the uh, the line left and right input in the mixer, uh, and you go to the uh, gain page, you'll find that there is no gain setting for the line inputs because they're assumed to be line level. Of course, with the microphone, you need a preamp and you need a gain control. So we need to deal with that. The solution I found was this audio buddy, buddy, uh, the box in the picture there. It's got two microphone preamps with gain control. It's got phantom power. Uh, it's perfect. On the back, you have your uh, microphone inputs, two of them, so you can add two microphones, and you got your outputs, uh, which are quarter inch. So you're going to need a special cable for this. And that cable's not really hard to find. It's just uh, two quarter inch uh, mono to a dual RCA. Yeah, you could probably even find this thing at uh, Walmart. It's very common. Here's the signal chain. Uh, we're going from our microphones, in this case, uh, one microphone. We are going to go to the input on the uh, Buddy Auto, Auto, the box. There it's going into the input, and you can see uh, we're coming out of the output. There's an output for each uh, microphone, and that is going to go to the line in on the UI. Just like that. Now you can check, see that one, this thing two, is hey, carrying one, signal. Two, check, check, check. One, two. Hey, one, two. Check. check and to check, my ears, one, uh, these preamps hey, sound, one, you know, just as good as the preamps in the UI16. So it's a party. Now you are going to want to go into your mixer and disable the stereo link between the line in left and right. Uh, that'll give you two independent controls, one for each additional microphone, and. Probably you're going to want to rename these. You can come up with something creative, whatever they're for. Uh, let's go with channel 13. And uh, the other one, I know, let's go with channel 14. So you now have two extra channels on your UI. Now these channels uh, carry signal just like any other channel. Um, they have all the features that any other channel has. If you go to the edit screen, uh, you'll find you have the EQ. Uh, if you like to mess with the compressor and change the dynamics, uh, it's not a problem. Both of these channels are gonna have uh, uh, dynamics. You're also going to have uh, your effect sends if you wanna add effects. And of course, you will also have your aux sends. Everything that any other microphone channel has, these two channels will have. 
So there, you've added two channels to your UI. Congratulations.